victims of an online deal gone bad? Farida Fadila and her cousin Noor Fasliana are unsure if they will get back the $1,000 they spent on cheap travel packages they bought on group buying site deal.com.sg. The two cousins bought six discount vouchers to Phuket in March 2011 for a family trip, but when they tried to redeem their vouchers from Far East Travel and Lifestyle, that's when they realised something was amiss. There wasn't any reply at all until we waited like for one month, like what she said just now. And then finally, like we, did, we, we find something is amiss. Lah. So that's why we emailed, I emailed them again, but they took very long to reply me, about two weeks later to, to reply me that they are uh, trying to redeem the voucher for me. But it still didn't, it still didn't come true. Tired of waiting, Fazliana went down to Far East Travel and Lifestyle's office to try and redeem the vouchers for their holiday. I spoke to the front desk officer and uh, she was saying that uh, oh, we already emailed to the Phuket site but there's no reply. So then I say, in two weeks' time, I have to go for this trip. What do you mean there's no reply? So they just sat down, two of them, they just sat down. After giving a deep thought, I think they come to me back. They say, uh, why not we refund you on the, dot, uh, on the spot? Uh. I say, refund on the spot, you must give me back my cash. But they say, oh no, you can't. You have to wait. You have to wait for another two weeks more. Uh, yeah. That's where I called her. And then she said, okay, fine, refund for us also. All six vouchers refund. Did I explain to you how come like they could not refund you on the spot? Like, what's the purpose of waiting for two uh, weeks? They easily say that, oh, our company has already cut ties with deal.com. And uh, there's no reply from the Phuket side. That's all. How long has it been, you know, since you asked for the refund? And, and until today, have you gotten back any money or, or any information, you know, about when you will get the money? Uh, three days ago, I received an email from a lady from deal.com. Uh, saying that they are going to refund uh, refund the money, but it's via credit card because we paid through credit card, so they only ref- uh, account it back to through the credit card. That that credit card was for my the other the other trip, the Bali trip, not the Phuket trip. So I'm still waiting for the Phuket trip uh, email. Yeah. For, for the Phuket trip, you know, have you heard anything on your end, Faz? No, for How her at least. <laughs> I think since January, so now it's already April, so yeah, there's no yeah. refund. For her, at least there's a call. For me, no. No email, no nothing. <laughs> I was surprised that they called her, lah, but they did not contact me at all. For Fas Liana and Farida, it has been a tiring, disappointing and frustrating experience. It's very upsetting because uh, this is not the first trip that, that we we actually bought, you see. Um, there are previous deals from Deal.com itself that I bought and it turned out very smoothly. So I actually trusted Deal.com and all the merchants under Deal.com itself. So when this happened, I don't think I want to continue buying anything from Deal.com because, I mean, money is so precious. You are looking forward to a good holiday with cheap uh, with, with cheap deals it's not that we are cheapskate or something but if there's cheap deals somewhere I mean you, you of course you'll you go for it right <laughs> yeah so no 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 more of such online stuff like. I mean it's, it's too depressing uh. I mean uh, 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 you, you're supposed to go for a peaceful holiday but it turned out so chaotic and have to make all the last minute changes and everything it's, it's too much for us like. how about for you you know how did this sort of mess inconvenience you and all that well of course it affect the so called honeymoon. honeymoon trip <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so end up we have to fork out last minute arrangement for flight, last minute arrangement for accommodation. Uh, there's so many things at the very last minute and uh, yeah, it's totally disappointing, uh, seriously. Once bitten, twice shy. And the cousins will be more careful in choosing online discount vouchers in future. Up next, Singaporeans weigh in on those who rush to grab a good deal online. Is it right to call them cheap skates? Click on to find out.